Hi there everyone, we're going to be taking a look at this molecule today and predicting its hydrogen, or proton we can say, NMR spectrum. And specifically, we're going to be looking at predicting three main things. We're going to be predicting how many peaks we expect to see, what's the ratio like between the peaks we have, and finally, we'll be taking a look at how we determine that all-important splitting pattern of the individual peaks we have. So let's take a look at this example for 2-chloropropane. So with the 2-chloropropane, we first need to identify how many peaks we expect to have, which is going to be the same as figuring out how many different hydrogen environments I have. First hydrogen environment I can see is really obvious. It's this one just here, the CH. Now I could circle up a little bit more there. It isn't important. The main thing is I've identified a non-equivalent hydrogen environment, and it's the CH just here. What's my second environment then? Well, this CH3 is an environment, and if I give these two letters, I can actually conclude that they are my only environments that are on this structure, because these two CH3s would be counted as equivalent environments. So I'm going to get two peaks. What about the ratio between those peaks? Well, the ratio between my two peaks, A and B, is going to be the same as the number of hydrogens we have within these individual environments. So for example, since I've got one hydrogen here in environment A, that's going to be a 1 to 6 ratio between peaks A and B. So I've got that nice 1 to 6 ratio between two peaks. I'm now ready to move on to predicting the splitting pattern. Now for predicting the splitting pattern, what I'm going to do is start from an environment and then I'm going to go up to the next carbon and count the number of neighbouring hydrogens there. At that point, I'll then implement the n plus 1 rule, and that'll tell me what the splitting pattern is, how many sub-peaks my peak goes into, for my individual environment. And I need to do each individual environment separately. So I'm going to start with environment A, and I'm going to go to the next environment up. So I go outwards in this direction just here, and we can see that on this next carbon up, I've got one, two, three hydrogens. Now, even though this environment is equivalent to the CH3 over here, I still travel outwards towards that environment. So I'm going to go out this way as well, and I can see I've got four, five, six hydrogens in total now, going out to these two carbons and seeing how many hydrogens are on those. If I go upwards here, well, I meet the chlorine, and I'm not going to count that as a hydrogen at all. So what I can see here is, for environment A, the splitting pattern is going to be based on the fact that my N is equal to 6. So that's my number of neighbouring hydrogens on the next carbons up. What I need to do now is follow the rule, which is n plus 1. And that means my splitting pattern for this peak is going to be a multiplet of 7... It's going to be a multiplet of 7 sub-peaks, which is going to be a septet. So I was kind of muddling up the words a bit there, trying to get to the descriptor before I could even get a chance, but it's going to be a septet for this one. So that's a multiplet of seven sub-peaks following this n plus one rule. What about environment B? Well, going from environment B, I can only go to this environment just here. I don't start from both of them and then work in and do like a total of that. I just go from one of these equivalent CH3 environments. So I'm going to stick with the one I've circled up. When I go to this next carbon just here, the immediate hydrogens on that environment is just one. We've got just this one just here. So it's just a one count. So for environment B, my n plus 1 rule is going to be, well, just 2. So this one's going to be a doublet. So I've got a septet and a doublet here for my two hydrogen environments, which are my two peaks on the hydrogen NMR spectrum of 2-chloropropane. Hopefully that gives you some good exam techniques that you can use to check your answers and also answer some questions that ask you to determine the number of peaks you would expect to see or splitting patterns and so on. There's lots of videos on my channel that take you through NMR, even those that take you through the full different types of spectrum analysis, looking at lots of different things like infrared, mass spec, and NMR, both hydrogen and carbon-13. So take a look at those before you head off, and don't forget to leave this video a like and subscribe to stay updated. Until next time, though, happy revising.